the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done, and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hello learners, you are welcome to another e-learning uh, class this day. My name is Obi Ifain. I remain your economics teacher. Today we are going to look at a very unique uh, topic. We have the following for you today. We are going to look at price control. In this price control, we are going to look at minimum price, maximum price, importance of price. And finally, uh, we want to comment on one or two, or respond on one or two uh, questions put forward by our learners from uh, various places. The, it's very, very important on uh, public finance. It's very important, but that will be after the lesson. Let us now go on to price control. Price control is a very important uh, topic. In our economy, uh, we buy goods and services every day. How are these goods and services priced? So we are going to look at the way and manner uh, that government uh, take part in the pricing of uh, goods and services. Now we are going to look at uh, price control. Theoretically, in the law of uh, the law of demand and supply, assumes easy determination of equilibrium uh, price in the market economy. Remember, in our last uh, lesson, we talked about or we learned about uh, equilibrium price. Or equilibrium, equilibrium point, that point where demand and supply are equal, at equilibrium there is neither surplus nor shortage. The point at which demand and supply are equal, that is equilibrium price. So we say that uh, in a market economy, uh, demand and supply assumes easy determination of equilibrium price in a market economy. But in practice, they do not operate so simply. It is only theoretically that uh, demand and supply, when we sometimes we call it market forces. When you hear market forces, we mean demand, forces of demand and their supply. But theoretically, they assume the market price, but um, theoretically, they are not so. It is also said that in a perfect competitive market, everything is held to be constant. But in real world, we face monopolistic producers and strong government influence. Remember, when we are talking about monopolistic producers, we mean monopolies. What is monopoly? Single producer or seller for a particular product or service. So we need strong government influence. Consumers, therefore, have little or no influence over prices, and they have to accept the prices as stated or advertised by the producers. So what we are saying here is that uh, it is said that uh, in perfect competitive market, everything is uh, held constant in real world, but uh, we face the uh, monopolistic uh, tendencies of the producers and strong government influence, which means the monopoly in one side is acting on its own, then government, because of the, uh, 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 the imbalance in the perfection of the market forces, government have to come in in order to, in order to uh, augment. Government may step in because of the imperfection in the operation of market forces. Remember, when we are talking about market forces, we are talking about demand, the forces of demand and their supply. So government may step in because of the imperfection in the operation of market uh, forces to control the prices in favor of the consumers and sometimes to support uh, producers. So remember, government is stepping in in order to do what? In order to favor the consumers or sometimes support their producers. We will look into that as we move on. Minimum price favors the producer while consumers are protected uh, by maximum price. I repeat, minimum price favors producers while consumers are protected with a maximum price. Now we we'll go to minimum price control. I wish you open your ears, keep your uh, Keep your notebooks aside in order to jot. This lesson is very important and very interesting. Let us look at minimum price control. Now, in your lesson, you call it minimum price control, but I want you to remember it like this. I want you to remember it as minimum high price. In English, minimum is something that is little, the least. 
But here, we are calling it minimum price, but it's not minimum as per se. We call it minimum high price. Why do we call it minimum high price? Let me explain it a little before we go to a write-up so that you understand very well what we are talking about. When governments want to support the producers, government will set a price over and above the equilibrium price. That is why we call it minimum high price. Remember, equilibrium price is the market price. I'll soon bring out the diagram so that I will explain it better. But equilibrium price is the market price. So government will set a price above the equilibrium price, meaning that the price that government wants the product to be sold is now above the market price. When anything is above market price, it means that the price is very high. For example, if you go to the market, you can buy um, a mudu of gare for 100 naira. Now, government say no. Don't sell that mudu of gare for 100 naira. Sell that mudu of gare for 200 eh, naira. That is when government want to do what? When government want to favor producers or protect the infant industries. In most exams, we use when government want to protect the infant industries. Do you still remember what infant industries are? Or is it the English we are looking at? What is infant industry? Infant industries are those industries in our country which cannot compete favorably with the already established ones abroad. So these are industries in our country. They are still coming up. They cannot compete with those industries abroad. For example, when a woman brings wrapper, you, they will look at the tail of the wrapper to see whether it is Holland. If it is Holland, they will prefer that Holland to Kanu textile or Kaduna textile. You see, so when government want to protect these producers, that is our home producers, or you call it infant industries, from foreign uh, or foreign or established industries, what government will do is to do what? Go into that minimum high price. What is that minimum high price? Government will set a price over and above the equilibrium price. That is, the price will now be above market price. If the market price of wrapper is 2,000 Naira, government will, will tell the local producers, no, sell your, your own at 3,000 Naira. 3,000 Naira is a high price. It's a high price. But what will government do? People may not buy. But you know, once you want wrapper, you must go and there buy. So what government will do is to saddle the importers, increase the import duty for those that are bringing in the foreign goods. When government increase the import duty plus the transportation, it will not make the foreign goods to be very, very expensive. To the, that is, it will be out of reach of the ordinary man. So if you ever want to buy wrapper, you will be forced to buy the local wrapper. Now, because the price is above equilibrium price, that is the set price by the government that we call it minimum high price. That is, this is the minimum price that you can sell, but it is high, it is above equilibrium price. So people will now go and buy the local, uh, locally made goods. From, by buying those locally made goods, the local producers will now make more money in order to expand their industries. Then the foreign made goods will be very expensive. If the locally made goods is uh, maybe a wrapper is sold for 2,005, the foreign one may be sold for 21,000. You see, the difference between 2,005 and 21,000 is very high. So people will now decide to buy what? To buy the locally made goods in place of the foreign made goods. That is all we talk about uh, um, minimum high price. But when this, uh, when this happens, there will be shortages because people will not buy the goods as they are supposed to buy because of the high price. What will government do? There will be surplus. So government will now come in and do a buy up that surplus. Because if you leave that surplus in the market, the law of demand and supply will take its course. Because once there is excess demand, if supply exceeds demand, what will happen? The price will fall. So for government to maintain that price, that minimum high price, in, uh, as per their market uh, price, as per the price that the uh, local, uh, locally made goods are supposed to be sold, government must do what? Government must step in and buy up the the surplus in order to maintain the price. So let's look at what we are doing. Let's look at the minimum high, uh, uh, price control. We say that this happens when government want to protect infant industries or home producers against outside competition. Government sets a minimum high price over and above the equilibrium price and may saddle importers with high duty. That is, government will now impose high duty on the importers so that to make their imported goods to be very expensive. The duty and transportation costs may raise the price of imported goods even above the preset price. The home producers will make more income. 
by offering their products for sale at the preset price. So when the preset price, the government said sell it at this price, when that price is high, very high, uh, when you saddle the importers with more duty or high duty and transport costs, the price at which they will sell their own product will be far and above the preset price, thereby giving the local industries a chance to do what? A chance to uh, sell their goods and make a, a reasonable profit in order to expand their industry. Let us look at um, the minimum price. That's the, the uh, diagram. You look at the PO. PO is the equilibrium price, while QO is the uh, quantity, demand, and the supply. You look at up. You see surplus, which is stored. This is the surplus, which is stored. P1 is the uh, preset price that is a uh, minimum price that is the p1 there the normal price which is the normal market price is supposed to be po but government will now set a price over and above equilibrium price Equil equilibrium price is po that is the market price why p1 is the preset price that is minimum price that is set by the government and i've told you that when this happens there will be a surplus because people will no longer buy those goods the way they used to buy because of the high price so there will be surplus which is up there the government will now step in and do what and buy up this surplus and store them in order to still maintain the market uh, uh, price that uh, so that the price will not uh, fall against uh, the preset uh, price then let us uh, look at it it says po is the market price and qo is the quantity demanded and supplied p1 is the minimum price set by government because of increased price, the quantity bought contrasts, that is, it reduces to Q2, while Q1 is uh, supplied. If the price is to be maintained at P1, the government has to buy up and store the surplus. Government have to buy up and store the surplus. If they don't store the surplus, because of the surplus uh, commodity in the market, the price of that commodity must fall because of the rule of uh, uh, law of uh, demand and supply, but government must step in and buy up the surplus in order to still maintain the, the price. Now let us look at the uh, maximum price control. Maximum price control. Just as we said before in minimum price control. Minimum is low, while uh, uh, maximum is high. When we are talking about minimum price which we have uh, taught or which we have learned we say minimum high price now we are going to maximum low price maximum should be high but this time it is a uh, low so when government want to favor the consumers government will set a maximum low price you are looking at it maximum you think it's going to be high no maximum this maximum this time is low maximum low price minimum high price minimum high price is because it is above equilibrium price now this maximum but low price means it's going to be what below equilibrium price that's why we call it maximum but it's low price that maximum is the maximum price that the producers can sell to the consumers government said this is the maximum price the highest price you can sell to the consumers but it is what it is low price why is it low because it is set below equilibrium price remember equilibrium price is the market price so when any price that is below it is a uh, low so maximum price is maximum low price let me explain to you how it is before we do uh, look at our reading maximum low price is uh, undertaken by government when government want to favor consumers government will now set a, maxi a maximum low price below the equilibrium price when that happens when something is sold below market price what will happen suppliers will not supply 
Why? Because the law of supply says that suppliers supply more at a higher price than at a low price. Now, when the price is very low, suppliers will not supply. So what happens? Government want the price to be sold, uh, the uh, product to be sold below the equilibrium price. What do government do? Suppliers will refuse to supply. So government will come in and induce the suppliers. How do government induce the suppliers? Government will now come in and give a subsidy. You have been hearing about subsidy. This subsidy, that subsidy, fuel subsidy. What is subsidy? My student, what is subsidy? If your sister comes back from school and says, uh, our teacher says something about subsidy, but I don't know what subsidy is, what will you tell your sister, your, your younger sister, that subsidy means? What is the meaning of subsidy? Subsidy means paying a part of, just as we have learned, that government want to favor consumers, then government now set a price below the equilibrium price. Market price is 50 naira. Government say no, don't sell it at 50, sell it at 20 naira to the consumers. Then what happens to the tax that is on top? Government will come in and subsidize. That subsidy means paying a part of. Instead of selling it at 50 naira, government will come in and pay 30 naira for the consumers in order for the producers to sell it at 20 naira. That tax the government is paying plus the 20 that, that the that the uh, consumers are buying, making it up to that 50 naira. So what is, um, um, what is subsidy? Subsidy is paying a part of. For example, they are talking about first subsidy, first subsidy. What do it mean? The government, uh, the pump price is, uh, say, 97 naira. Government says 97 naira, but the price of selling that, or the normal price in the world market is how much? It's 150 naira. Government say no. What do we do? Okay, sell it at 100 naira. Let me pay the other 50 naira for you. That is subsidy. Government will pay a part of the price of that product so that the producers will sell it to the consumers at that low price that government wants it to be sold. That is why government has put a price ceiling of that uh, maximum low price, a price below um, the equilibrium price. Government will now come in and put up a subsidy. That is paying a price. That uh, a price that is uh, uh, that is that will make it up to the market price. Government will just do what pay it. That is what we call subsidy. Paying a part of the price of a product so that the consumers will get the product at a desired price or at a set price by the government. So when government come in, fuel how much? Uh, uh, 150 naira. Government say no. Sell it to my people at 90 naira. I will pay 60 naira. 60 plus 90 is 150. Since it comes to uh, 150, sell it 90 naira. Then government will subsidize. That is paying 60 naira on top of every liter you buy. That is what we mean by subsidy. So when we are talking about remove, remove, it means government, eh, stop paying that. Let us buy it at that price, normal price that it used to come at. That is what we mean by maximum price, maximum low price. Government will set a price below the equilibrium price and they do what? And uh, they subsidize, pay the, su the subsidy for the uh, suppliers in order to supply it. Let us look at the, our write-up. You say that uh, maximum price is practice when government want to protect consumers against suppliers. So government want to protect the consumers against their uh, suppliers. Government sets a price below equilibrium price, market price in brackets, because equilibrium price is the market price. This stimulates demand, that is, it increases demand because the price is very low. People will now rush to the market to go and buy off those uh, uh, goods. Then that will lead to shortages and black market sales. Because of the low price, it will lead to shortages and the low ma uh, black market sales. Government may intervene to ensure even distribution of supply by giving suppliers a subsidy to maintain a steady supply of the goods. Otherwise, government will have to uh, institute rationing, particularly if the commodity in question is a necessity. Now, this is the a maximum price, maximum low price. You see PO, PO is the market price, YP1 is the, is the set price, that is maximum price. It is set below the equilibrium price. And down there you see shortages, because at that price, suppliers will not supply. So there will be shortages everywhere. So what will happen for these shortages to disappear? Government will have to give a subsidy to the suppliers, that is pay a part of the price of it. That is the difference between P1 and P0 in order to maintain steady supply. That is uh, what it is. Then PO is the market price and QO is the quantity demand and supply. P1 is the maximum price set by government and suppliers offer 
a quantity of uh, Q1 for sales, while consumers, as a result of reduced price, will increase purchases to Q2. So, zero Q2 to zero Q1 uh, is uh, shortages. Black markets result when consumers scramble for uh, the available goods and their services. Importance of a price, importance of a price or price mechanism. We say that price rations out scarce goods. Price rations out scarce goods. So through pricing of a commodity, you know that yes, this product is scarce. That's why the price is very high. Like today, if you go to the market, you see that a mudu of a crayfish is now 2,000 naira, 2,005. As against how much? As against uh, 1,000. Five one two one three that there is now is two thousand plus. It's showing you what it is the significance that fish is very scarce in the market. Then we say that the uh, price ration sells scarce goods. It uh, distributes resources where they are mostly wanted, meaning that people will now uh, uh, channel their resources into the acquisition of those products with their prices are very high in order to sell it and make a uh, profit. A rise in the price of any goods indicate that uh, the good is in short supply. So producers will use available raw materials to do what? To produce larger quantities of the goods in a demand. Number two, price is used to discourage unnecessary pressure on commodities. When there is pressure on a particular commodity, the price will shoot up. Once the price shoot up, it separates the boys from the men. So the high income earners will have it, while the low income earners will desist, thereby reducing pressure on that particular product. Number three, price shows the direction that demand is, that is the sort of goods that are wanted by consumers. The price will tell you that, yes, this is what is in, in demand now. That is what people are buying. Number four, it is a means by which factors of production are rewarded. Price, what is your price? What more do I pay you for this and that? Price. Number five. Price shows that specialized knowledge and skill are in great demand. Price shows that specialized knowledge and skill are in great demand. Uh, before we go to our assignments for today, I would want to talk a little on uh, the rest or respond to so many questions that we had. Three of them, I will mention three of them, but I will answer one. Uh, ask what is the, they don't understand the difference between uh, fees and the uh, and, uh, levies. Uh, fees, levies, and uh, licensing. So when we are talking about, uh, uh, we say that fees, is it fees and levies, yes? But the one I want to respond on is uh, licensing. One said that uh, you may no longer get driving license since their road is no good and this and that. No, because we talk on it, uh, as sources of government revenue. When you are contributing to government revenue, there is a way that government equal with their law saves people from that. I want to touch this because many of us do not know the importance of, of paying government back for the services they offer to you. The one I want to talk on uh, particularly is that licensing. You know, in license you have to pay government and obtain your license. License offers you a right to something. A right to something. Let us use driving license for an example. Not too many of us know that driving license is very important. When Castella is on the road, people will be dodging, running everywhere. It's true that you pay the driving license or vehicle license, but it saves you. Do you know where it saves you? Our parents don't even know that. You as a student, you don't have to go and drive. Because of what? Because one, you're underage. Two, you don't have the license. License grants you the right to drive. If you are driving without license, and God forbid, you jam somebody and the person dies. It is murder case. But where you have your license, it is, uh, they call it manslaughter. Two years imprisonment, an option of fine. But murder case, there is no option of fine. You remain in the prison until the day you are charged and uh, 
and killed. Then, for um, not having license at all, it is a very big problem. You have to make sure that even if it's driving license or your or vehicle particulars, they must be up to date. If not, if anything happens, you, are, you have yourself to break. Let us look at our assignment. Our assignment for today is uh, what do you understand by minimum price control? What do you understand by minimum price control? Number two, with the aid of a diagram, explain maximum price. Draw your diagram the way it's supposed to be and explain maximum price. Explain it. Number three, state five importance of a price. State five importance of a price. As usual, send your uh, answers to my contact. That's my number. You can send it through WhatsApp. It will be if I need 80 I repeat. Will be if I 350 080 350 Stay safe, keep learning, and God will bless you. Thank you. Bye.